five tips to help you effectively study for your final. One, start studying after your last exam. It is so important to be able to have as much time preparing for your final as you can. So after your last exam is done, make sure to immediately start studying for your final. Plan out how many days you actually have before your final. And of course, be realistic with this plan. Set out specific times that you're going to study, see what chapters you're going to review, and make sure you're not overwhelming yourself saying that you're gonna study five different chapters all in one day. Two, you do not have to relearn everything. I know you're gonna be tested on so much on your final, but you do not have to relearn an entire semester's worth of material in a matter of weeks. Unfortunately, that's just unrealistic and that's setting yourself up for failure and I don't want you to do that. Instead, focus on the chapters that are the most important. So that's typically not the very, very beginning ones. Instead, I would say it's more of the middle chapters. If you were taking chemistry, then that would be more of stoichiometry, of thermochemistry, of gas laws, those math heavy topics. If you were in organic chemistry, then that would be more of the mechanisms and reactions that you saw with substitution and elimination or reactions of alkenes and alkynes. Also, what you can do with this is condense down those chapters into just a matter of pages. So focus on what's the most important in that specific chapter and Exceptions are key here. Any exceptions to a specific rule, those tend to be exam questions. Three, know the format for your exam. Is your exam half multiple choice, half free response, all free response, or all multiple choice? This is going to help you understand how to properly prepare for your exam. Multiple choice questions tend to be more of those definition and concept based questions versus free response questions are those math heavy ones. Or if you're taking, let's say organic chemistry, that's gonna be actually showing mechanisms or synthesis questions. Four, review your past exams and quizzes. Make sure to focus on the things that you missed so that you don't miss them again on the final exam because professors tend to repeat questions. They could either repeat the same exact question that you saw on your first or second exam, or they're gonna give you something similar. Thankfully, by reviewing these quizzes and exams, you get a feel for your professor's exam style, so you'll be preparing for that as well. Five, track how many hours you studied. By focusing on how much effort you put into this for studying for your final, for seeing how many hours you studied, for reviewing all of those exams, Seeing that effort is going to make you feel a lot more at ease when you walk into your final. In fact, it's gonna calm your nerves a bit because you'll be able to know that I did prepare for this. Look at how many hours I studied. Look at all the effort I put into this. And of course, you're always gonna feel a bit nervous going into it. And I remember always feeling like I needed more time to study because that's just something that's a common feeling that you go into something so major as a final exam, but already having that understanding that you gave this your all and that you really did try. But by having this record of how much effort you put in will really calm your nerves and help with any potential test anxiety. Of course, if you're taking general chemistry one or two or organic chemistry one, I have so many resources. I have already condensed all of these chapters down into my resources and videos. So make sure to check that out. I'll leave everything in the description. 